we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. We got another great one for you. <laughs> There's a little delay there. For you. I wanted them to know that I was talking about you. Yes, you. You, 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 you. you. Sorry. Uh, this week we'll be talking about knives from only one company. What? 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 Yes, you heard correctly. We're going to be focusing on knives from just one company. Don't worry, though, fellow AKers. You're going to love the knives we have on the table for you. Yep, and they're all Gerber. There's something here for everyone. Who knows, maybe you'll find the knife of your life. Or maybe not. We don't know. Uh, we're also going to mention that you could win what you could win in the upcoming knife uh, Atlantic giveaway. So, hmm. what did I say? Atlantic giveaway? Atlantic knife giveaway. Yeah, Jules a tagger, not a lover. First, make sure you show some love for Atlantic Knife's channel by subscribing and clicking the like and ring the bell. Yeah, they're somewhere in this vicinity. Or they're right here under my hand. Uh, and watch as I turn it over. I don't think that'll be a challenge. You all have got to do this so you can have a direct link to us and Atlantic Knife. And so you can get immediate updates about new reviews and videos, okay? And so mm -hmm. you can stay connected to your greatest source of comedic entertainment. Me. Whoa, that was my line. Whoa, unbelievable. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Just, whoa, you snooze, you lose. What are you? Six? Because I don't have one. I'm five, you know that. Why don't you explain this to me like I'm five? Mm -hmm. At your age, not your shoe size. Oh, my shoe size is so much better. Mm, that's not what I meant. You know, wow. That's a big foot. Well, what's your shoe size? Hmm? It is 11.5. Mm, wow, and you picked on my shoe size? You're only like a step, bad pun for you there, away <laughs> from like shack size. <laughs> that's not even remotely funny. Look, what, what do televisions have to do with anything? Our first carry is the Gerber Quadrant Frame Lock. This knife has a 7CR 17 MOV satin finish folding blade. That's a little over two and a half inches long. Um, this frame lock also has a reversible pocket clip and a flipper stud. This knife has a bamboo material scale, mm -hmm. which reminds me a little of the Deva or Ohata mm -hmm. knives we did a few episodes back. Mm -hmm. Except those were made of what? Walnut, mm -hmm. beechwood, and, and like the acacia or the uh, Formosan koa. Ah, yes. Yeah. Acacia <laughs> wood. That was the other one. The long, difficult to pronounce name. They would figure that you would remember that one. Mm -hmm. Well, it was my favorite, so I tend to remember things that are your favorite. Anyways, uh, this knife has a straight edge sheep's foot style cut blade, which allows for easy everyday utility use, you know, the daily tasks, um, while still giving you a knife with a bit of blade flare. Hmm. It's like a two-tone going on. Flare. Mm -hmm. I like that phrase. What? The blade flare? Yes. <laughs> Let's add that to our growing knife vernacular. We're going to start our own language. No problem. For now we have what? Jimped out blade flare. Oh, <laughs> not to mention your constant. Let's talk about the table. I'm not sure that's a uh, knife vernacular. Okay, maybe not. But whenever you say it, you always are referring to knives at the time. So. I mean, I don't use it all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. Yes, you do. You use it all the time. In fact, we have proof. Okay. Let's talk about the table. Let's talk about the table. Let's talk about the table. Mm -hmm. Been to the knives on the table. We talk about the table. Talk about the table. I mean, my sidekick doesn't need a catchphrase. <laughs> He's got one right there. Oh, Let's we, we all know that sidekicks use snazzy. Okay, okay, but as I said, sidekicks and superheroes have like catchphrases, and snazzy is an adjective, not a phrase. You say catchphrases? Like, and we're back. Okay, so now my psychic has two catchphrases. 
I don't think that sidekicks have catchphrases. But we'll leave that to the grammar authority. Okay, all I heard was authority, so. (laughs) Up next is the same knife with just a a slight difference. The handle Mm -hmm. or scale is a white G10 composite instead of bamboo. Um, I think I like this one better just because it provides a, a good color contrast. I mean, it really like shakes. Sorry, shakes your retina. Um, like those black and white photos where they have just the one thing in color. I know you started seeing it. Which part? Yeah. Uh-huh. The shake, shake, shake. Uh-huh. Shake your I love, retina. I love those photos. Okay. Yeah. Although I like the Bambi one too because it's more, you know, chilled, relaxed, but still ready for any tasks you throw at it. Mm-hmm. Plus, it, this one won't be eaten by a panda. Wow. I guess I kind of see what you're saying there. Mm-hmm. I mean, this knife is meant to handle day-to-day tasks, either at home or at work, so I agree with you there. These knives, which are perfect for all mm-hmm. kinds of tasks, are just $30.84 mm-hmm. on AtlanticKnife.com. And there it is. Yeah, I'll throw it at you. Well, I let you hold it this time because it had the infamous sidekick on the back. Oh, is that why? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That was it. Yeah. Well, um, what do you think of these knives? Well, I mean, I like them. Mm-hmm. They, um, I mean, they kind of remind me of like a cleaver style, but not because they're so straight. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're different than other knives. And I mean, they have light materials. I mean, I would carry one. I don't. I don't see why. You know. Why you wouldn't exactly? Yeah, I mean, but I would also carry the next knife coming up. Oh, would you? Yes, which is the Gerber Tri-Tip Mini Cleaver. So the green one uh-huh. is already out of stock. Yeah, that one's already out of stock. And this one here? No, this one not not yet. So you guys better hurry and get this one before they're all gone. In fact. You know what? I think they may all be gone because this one's actually sold. Is it? Really? Yes. To who? Me. Oh my God. Ah, but okay, I think that, they're, the pay I think they're still a few Couldn't come more. quick enough, huh? <laughs> Let's talk about this knife. Oh, okay. The fixed knife, this knife has a cleaver style 3 inch 7CR 17 MOV blade. Mm-hmm. Don't which has a stone wash finish. It's always just taking care of my foot. <laughs> goodness, goodness. The goodness. handle, unbelievably, is black machined aluminum mm-hmm. with texture to add grip and less slip. <laughs> and there's also the infamous mm-hmm. lanyard hole. Um, this style blade, especially on this knife, is suited for basically two functions. Uh, the beveled edge is meant to, you know, fill your scraping needs, like feathering or something like that, on like some wood for... Uh, like kindling, mm-hmm. yeah, and while the full fine edge handles any cutting needs, so that's basically what it's for. Oh, I could see using this. Finally, this carry is a bit over five and a half inches overall. It's full tang, mm-hmm. and comes with a black multi-mount sheath, which can be carried in either the tip down right, or so that's this. Are one, you ready? Tip down. The scalped carry position. Joel? No, I will not be demonstrating. Do you know what the scout carry position is? Yes, I know what the scout carry right. is. Remember, we, we had a discussion before on a break. We were like, what's scout t- carry position exactly? I'm not demonstrating. This also has a push tab release, which would help you get the knife out quicker, allowing you to secure your knife properly, <laughs> easily, That's probably what my problem and was. quickly, as I was so rudely interrupted. Um, so really interrupted. She talk. You need to let a man do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is one? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, I know. I like walked into that one. <laughs> yep, walked right into it. Yeah, it ain't mm-hmm. over to the fat lady sings. <laughs> really? Really? Not until the fat lady sings. Oh, yes, okay. This is important. Mm, fat lady. You'll be hearing that later, because someone had to be a jerk. <laughs> All right, anyways, and you can get yours by going to our website, typing it in, you know, either through the little link below. We always leave you guys links below, okay? We are helpful like that. 
Um, you can also go by directly to the browser, type in LAKnife.com, and click in little, you know, Gerber tri-tip cleaver. Bam, there it is. And just add it to your cart. It's that easy. And it's only 33, yes, 33.48 on AtlanticKnife.com. Somebody wanted me to scream that, but I'm not, not going to hurt your ears there. Do you think anybody that watches this show mm -hmm. actually goes anywhere other than AtlanticKnife.com? Yes. They see it and go, oh, that's nice, and they don't even watch the rest. They just click out, browser, type it in, and they bring up other jerks that aren't as good as us. You that, think so? Yep, and they don't get no free shipping you know, or discount, nothing. I think they we say AtlanticKnife.com so much mm -hmm. that they couldn't really think of anything else. Mm -hmm. I, you, you would hope so. It would be like subliminal messaging all over again. Just flashing AtlanticKnife.com. You know, if I turn to the camera and look directly into it, you think... AtlanticKnife.com. Like have an overview. Don't even speak. AtlanticKnife.com. I think that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our next knife is the Gerber Straight Lace Slip Joint. This knife kind of mm -hmm. reminds me of, and this will date me, the Houston Oilers. That will date you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what dates you. <laughs> hey. Gloves are off, pal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, this one has the uh, the mirror finish on it. Okay. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Um, we actually have two different types of Gerber slip joint knives today. We're going to be showing you. Uh, first is the straight lace, um, which I'm going to focus on first, as I said, because we've got two different ones here. And we also have the wingtip slip joint. Talk about dating. Weird shoes, huh? Okay, I don't know. I always thought those were, like, very dapper. <laughs> Your penny loafers were too. Oh Do you have a set of those uh, Buster Browns? No. The I black didn't. and white cheerleader shoes that you wear to your hops? Yeah, and those are called saddle shoes. You know that. Because you wear those all the time. <laughs> hey oh, yes, but I had to loan them to you when you brought out your seersucker suit. Except we're not the same <laughs> shoe size, as we've discussed already. Yeah, but you just stuffed it with a little bit of that, pe that no, mailing paper. I can't wear clown shoes, even with paper. <laughs> oh, you don't need clown shoes. You got the nose. <gasps> oh, oh, my. <laughs> well, I also got the funniness then, so. All righty. Yeah, they hold the dapper <laughs> shoes, and I so, think they're dapper, so you're going to have to just suck it. In the early 1900s, along with that word. Fun fact. Are you ready? Mm hmm. That'd be good. Did you know they were originally called Baroque shoes? No. But I did know that they originated in Ireland and Scotland, used mostly for like the to cross the wet terrain bog things, you know? And because the perforations allowed the water to drain from them. So, I didn't know that. Scotland? Yes, Scotland and Ireland. I love Scotland because of the, the movie Braveheart. Right oh, that's the only but thing it brings to the table? That's the only... You know, Scotland's been ruined for me. The kilts? Yeah, because my mother-in-law. Uh, I've met her. Scary. Moving on. Okay, um, this first first straight lace has a blue anodized aluminum handle and aluminum bolster. Uh, it also has a plain 7CR17 MOV sheep's foot 2.9 inch blade. It's also got like a mirror finish and, you know, the little white and red striped accent near the bolster. Yeah, nice. the bolster, yeah. I like that too. I also like how it doesn't come all the way around. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nice with that part. There's a nail nick also, mm -hmm. which, you know, has a strong... Um, like lock up there, so it would be uh, nail nick's important. Mm -hmm. Has a stainless reversible tip up pop pocket clip, and it's what probably it's a just a little bit under, under seven, seven inches. inches. Yes, um, this one also, as I said earlier, comes in. This ought to be interesting because I cut my nails. Oh, there we go. If you cut your nails, uh, well, some of them I cut, and then some of them just break. I don't, I don't get it. Did you just bring out a uh, cleaning cloth? Yes, I did. It's the mirror polish. I, yeah, I know. We share I know. it. We share the same issue sometimes. Okay. Um, they have the same specs. I also believe that these come in not just boxes, but clam packed as well. We'll put a link in the description, like always, mm -hmm. so you guys can check them out for yourselves. Although, I've been wrong before, so. 
Uh, you're, you can say. You can say that again. Uh -huh. And over to the fat lady sings. Who said that earlier? <laughs> you know, Rolling Stone gathers no moss. These knives can be found on AtlanticKnife.com for only thirty dollars and eighty-four cents. Yeah, and we're going to be talking about the the wingtips, which are. Uh... That's for the straight lace. Yeah, I know. The wingtips. Yeah. Are only twenty-one. 84. And I'm going to go ahead and do it again. All right. At Atlantic Knife. Dot. Dot com. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Jewel will take the wing tip here and she will take that one. Okay. Uh, the wing tip slip joint, which comes in and gray. I'll take this one too. Sorry. I'll just leave one open. Hold on. It's got, it's got a mark. It also has a mirror polish. Just hold on. Sorry, we got a few seconds for you to clean that off. Okay. Dun, good. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun. Or one of those where they have the. And then come back. Oh. That's usually for technical difficulties. So, <laughs> well, you should just have that up the whole show. Mm, that's nice. Don't insult the camera person. They'll rake their. Oh, I wasn't. It was the technical difficulties on this side of the table. Oh, Go on. okay, okay, sure it was. Okay. I like the camera person. Do you? Five point six inches overall, and they're pretty much great pocket knives in my very valued opinion. <laughs> Someone. It has a 2.5 inch satin finished blade drop point, mm -hmm. which is uh, made of a 7CR17 MOV, yeah, while the yeah. handle scales are made of green aluminum, and the bolster, it's also, also aluminum. aluminum. Just plain, not green. Um, mm -hmm. Like the last slip joint, this folder's blade is deployed through the use of a nail nick, smaller of course, it's a slightly smaller blade. Yep. And with that, mm -hmm. we've reached the end of yet another episode. Wanted to change the subject quickly. <laughs> no, I think these make a great EDC. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just um, not my Sloppy Joe and Curly Fries. We're having Sloppy Joes. Yeah, I heard. Please say you got the onion bun. We're having Sloppy Joes. <gasps> Mongoose! Say. What? You know, in Paul Bart, Malkop, the only thing that would bring him out of his funk was Sloppy Joes and curly fries. Of course, I should have known. Well, regardless of what you think, I still like how easy you can open them. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. But I understand, every, you know, everyone has preferences. But before we start closing up shop. Oh, I got you there. Yeah, uh, you should uh, tell me a little bit about the giveaway. Oh, the giveaway. Well, we're doing a knife giveaway on Instagram, Facebook. Surprisingly. A knife it is. Giveaway. <laughs> well, it's better than a sleeping bag giveaway. Yes. Is it? I don't know. We do snug packs. Exactly. La Siestas and Hennessy something. I forgot the name of that brand. H I can't remember. I can't remember either. I think of Hennessy. I can't get past the alcohol. Oh. Not that that's, I That's drink, usually your problem. <laughs> that's not usually my problem. Always. It your is problem. my problem. He's at openly emitting. <laughs> this little titanium neck knife has a Damascus steel blade mm -hmm. and a titanium chassis. Me. Comes with a so Denzel cute. Washington bullet chain. Hand it over. With a Kydex sheath. Look. That's a training day episode for those who didn't notice. Uh, they'll notice. Oh, that's right. All you have to do Look. is go to our Facebook page or its kissing cousin, Instagram, and find the Atlantic Knife giveaway for the hummingbird. Yep. It's green. You shouldn't miss it. Like the post or love the post. I'm not sure what the heart actually means. Tag three people, mm -hmm. unless you're Rick. He's a lover, not a tagger. Finally, don't forget, guys, we need you to hit those pesky subscribe, like, and notification bell buttons. That way we can keep a constant influx of knife info mm -hmm. to, the ta to the cows come on. <laughs> Like that. I feel like I should tip my hat. Yeah, I don't think you need to grab. Or till the night closes in. Till the night closes in. Mm. Or even after that. Also, find us and maybe Waldo on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. That way you can be in touch with Atlantic Knife, us, and the other side. There's another side. I have a hard time on the one I'm on. Mm. Maybe just keep in touch with us through your mobile devices yeah. because, you know, we want to invade every, every aspect 
of your daily yeah, life. Much like prescription commercials. But not. <laughs> and with that, I'm C. And this is... Joel. Just Joel. Yeah. And we are... Signing off. <laughs>